uh, I work in computer and information security. So in information security, you have attackers that try to do bad things and defenders that try to prevent the bad people from doing bad things. And most of my work is at the intersection of data analytics and security. What I mean by that is that my group and I collect a large amount of data on all sorts of activities online that attempt to um, compromise or break systems or steal data. And we use this data for two purposes mainly. One, to describe the economic incentives and essentially the uh, modus operandi of the attackers and also to help the defenders build better defenses. The image that we typically have when we're thinking about online criminals and that has been popularized by the press is that of a bunch of hackers wearing hoodies in basements. The reality couldn't be further from the truth. These are people that are just like you and me they are economically rational, they are technologically literate, but for all intents and purposes, they are basically normal people engaging in a questionable line of business. And so what we've done is that we've been collecting a large amount of transactions that occur on the dark web uh, to essentially model how people make money, what are their profit margins when we can uh, get to that, what's the volume of transactions, uh, and what are their strategies when law enforcement intervenes and shuts down one store? What do vendors do? Do they go to another store? Do they uh, disperse and somewhat disappear? What do buyers do? Uh, and so forth. We also use our measurements and our data analytics insights to build systems. And one of the main line of works that we've been engaging in in the past couple of years is called predictive security analytics. That's a mouthful, so let me break it down. What we try to do is to predict within a somewhat short time span, time interval, that something bad is going to happen before it even happens. When you're browsing the internet, you probably connect to a couple of websites, browse maybe some social media, look at your calendar, and so forth. That's kind of your normal browsing behavior. Then, if I look at one of your browsing sessions and I notice that all of a sudden you start browsing websites in foreign languages that you perhaps don't speak, with advertisements that keep popping up at a rate much higher than what you would see on a normal web page, and uh, cycling through a large number of pages over a very small amount of time. If I, as a human, as a security engineer, look at this browsing session, I can infer that something bad is going to happen to you. It hasn't yet, but it probably will, because what this browsing pattern is telling me is that you are probably trying to get access to a free streaming video of some sort. Maybe you want to watch a sporting event for which you don't have cable access, or a free movie, or something that is likely to get you in trouble. The idea is that computers can do this kind of analysis faster and usually almost as well as we can. And based on the data that we've collected in the recent past, we can, with fairly high confidence, say within the next 15 to 20 seconds, this person currently browsing the internet is going to be exposed to some kind of an attack. The amount of data that we have in general for computer security, but for systems design in general, is simply staggering nowadays. And we can collect it, we know how to collect it, we know how to use it, we know how to build on it. And that's very different from what has happened in the past. And this helps us both to design new systems and also to impact public policy.